we are in a political season where a lot of political alignments will be made. And that is true. A few days ago, popular Nigerian singer Casey was spotted with Inubu's son. The event had Casey, Imoni, Yule Doche, and other Igbo celebrities in attendance. This video got reactions online as some people believed that it could mean some form of endorsement. Today, Casey was, however, present at Peter Obi's event, which took place in Imo State, in a video which was uploaded by Kubana. Chief Priest Casey could be seen bowing down to greet Peter Obi. The three of them were posed together for a group photos. This will likely cause reactions online, as people may also say that it could mean an endorsement. Kubana chief priest used the opportunity to lament about the current state of the country as he revealed that the cost of running his business has almost eaten up all his profits. Okay. <laughs> well, everyone is entitled to what he wants. At la last, last, all of us, the child brave us to. <laughs> if you think uh, you had a uh, 1 million naira in 2015, now eh, the money don't turn to further 70,000. 100,000 if you are still lucky. That is, people have been asking, people who are supporting those who glaringly, you know that uh, they have nothing to offer. You you have seen the antecedents. They are using Oboju to manipulate uh, people and some people are falling for that. Whether they have a different market or a different place, they go to enjoy themselves. No. So why should they be minding them? Well, they say Igbos are not uh, united. Peter Obi's case is different. No mind them. They don't know. I told them Tinubu's son meeting the Igbo celebrities is pure nonsense. Those from Anambra State, for that matter. Okay, silence to your class chasing is the best response for your comments. Then you goofed by commenting. You should have be quiet to his class chasing comments. This is just the full meaning of that Buga song, Collect Your Money and Go. When Kenneth Okonko said they are celebrities and that they are entitled to their fees, Unatin say in the joke, mm. that they are entitled to their fees. It was never a Tinubu Sun event. The event in question was a birthday get together to stop the fake news. Okay, so stop the fake news. Uh, because you don't turn like this now. After that time, nobody came out and said, no, it wasn't It wasn't a meeting or personal coming together. Meeting them, see, does not mean nothing. This dance of shape must stop. By the election, sign the Tinubus will not know who voted for them or not. Let DG continue with his connection policies. Obi kids are busy building their career. February would tell its own story. I was telling a guy that say. Uh, that broke the news that Sheyi uh, Tinubu's son had a meeting with some Anambra chapter before the news broke out that those Anambra chap are really good business guys who will reject money, especially when it is uh, a collective weight of the people. I told him that uh, those guys are playing, are paying taxes in Lagos and collecting the money is like a tax return after one has successfully filed his tax. I told him that those guys will return back to Ubi after collecting the money. It may surprise you that after the election, you come to hear that uh, the likes of Joey Gukwe, Dan Ulasi, Dave Umayi, Hopu Zodima, Fani Kayode, Dino Milaye, Keyamo, Oji Zokalo, and so on, voted for Ubi. Remember, Dr. Chris Ngigi have revealed the secret that voting is by secret ballot bosses. No one knows one who voted for. One thing that is sure is all these people shouting APC and PDP know that with any of them being in power, it will worsen things. And we, with the words they have made, they wouldn't even like to toe with him or to toe with it or toy with it. What they are after is the protection of their wealth, not after the old horses they know. That they are tired and can't even protect them. Well, this person can be making sense though. Mm, but we might not be like that in all cases, but some people might be like that. Okay, now collect your money 
wake up. Hey, hey, is this for real? Child's play. Ah, not, not true. Now, so we see him for them. Hey, now what? Now what? The good news is that uh, everybody, all of us, they inside them. The very tiny fraction of people who think they are enjoying, uh, what is their percentage? There is, is zero point one percent safe. Mm? They are not. They are not even up to zero point five percent. Zero point one percent. The rest people, huh? Even from hand to mouth. And now they are even going to make things worse. I just saw a publication by the CBN saying that uh, the the maximum withdrawal in a week is hundred thousand naira for individual for for but for corporate bodies five hundred thousand in a week oh, not a deal. Uh -huh. So, well, they said they are trying to encourage a cashless a policy and internet banking and all of that. No people even get money. Said now they talk of hundred thousand. Some people say even, some people cannot even boast of one thousand naira. Some cannot boast. Some if people their account number has been dormant. Their account has been dormant for God knows when. How many times are they? Did they really oil it? I think there was a time they say. An average Nigeria as at that time, or whether how many millions of Nigerians then that no, nobody, none of them, I be, they didn't have a but up to 500,000. If I almost millions over 100 million, I don't have the particular figure that is to tell you. And that was then, well, that should be, huh, I mean, that should be four years ago, not to talk of now, even if it was said. Three years ago, but now I don't think people, anybody, majority of the people can even boast of fifty thousand naira in their bank accounts. Just like uh, the case is saying that they, uh, oh, and they touch everybody, uh, and he's trying trying to pass a message to uh, be see see, maybe paraventure you can't let her be, you know all the healing and what have you that people have been, you know, giving you. Maybe you do normal. You have to do normal. Because things are bad. When those uh, guys met with a uh, Sinubus, of course they will not. People will not want to say the truth. They can be hailing you. They prefer to be dying in silence, but they will be hailing you. But behind, they will come and they will still be complaining. If they see Sinubus, they will tell you oh, it's not his father. But if they want to take glory, they will tell you, ah, we are connected to the presidency. We are doing this. We are doing that. But to get to hear the truth is always the case. It's always the case. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.